Thanks, Diane. I'm Adara, Youth Mappers Communication Specialist, and you all have heard a bit about Youth Mappers today, so we'll give a formal presentation to share a bit about it. So I'll give the broad perspective, and then I'll pass it off to Sophia, the president of Clemson Mappers, a chapter within the Youth Mappers Network, to give you the narrow perspective, the specific view from an active youth mapper. So Youth Mappers is a international network of 264 universities in 58 countries, and Youth Mappers is a community within the OpenStreetMap community. So the students use public geospatial technologies to highlight and directly address development challenges around the world and to quantify their impact to OSM, Youth Mappers over the past five years have contributed 11 million edits to OSM. And this movement has been thriving in part to the support of our partners and organizing institutions, Arizona State University, Texas Tech University, the George Washington University, and West Virginia University. And Youth Mappers is generously supported by the United States Agency for International Development through the USA Geo Center. So now I'd like to give a quick rundown on the opportunities that Youth Mappers can participate in by being a part of the network. So recently, actually just on Monday, we launched the Youth Mappers Academy, which is an online learning platform for youth mappers to build and enhance their mapping skills. There's also a research and leadership fellowship and their regional ambassadorship. There's a validation hub and at housed at the George Washington University, and you'll hear from Noel and Kate in two presentations to give you an overview of the validation hub. There's also a fieldwork mini grant, and recently we launched the Everywhere She Maps initiative, which is a targeted training program to increase involvement of women in the geospatial community. So as you can tell, um, our motto is we don't just build maps, we build mappers, because Youth Mappers is really about the experiential learning opportunities and professional development that students can build outside of the classrooms that they can apply into the workforce once they graduate. So now I'll hand it off to Sophia to give you the student perspective. Thanks, Dara. Hi, everyone. I'm Sophia, and I'm the president of Clemson Mappers, the Clemson University chapter of Youth Mappers in South Carolina. As a chapter of Youth Mappers, our main projects consist of hosting mapathons, creating story maps, and providing training for GIS software. Each semester, we host a mapathon battle against the University of South Carolina and in collaboration with the Clemson Red Cross Club and the American Red Cross. We are very fortunate to have built connections with these organizations in order to reach a wider group of students across the entire state of South Carolina to participate in the Mapathon. And although COVID has changed um, how Mapathons have been run over the past year, it's really opened up the opportunity for participants to join from anywhere rather than from solely our college campuses. Um, this past semester, our Mapathon consisted of over 30 participants and it also had high school students who wouldn't be able to attend otherwise. So outside of our mapathons, we spend the semester building story maps and our goal is to create story maps that are educational and beneficial to our local Clemson community while continuing to build up our GIS skills. This video playing, that's some drone footage from our Call My Name story map, which we created last fall. This story map was based on data provided by the Call My Name project at Clemson University and it focused on the history of black performers who played at Clemson from the 1920s to 1990s. We're currently creating a story map for the South Carolina Botanical Gardens to learn about the ecosystems in our community and how it's currently being preserved in the 295 acres at the Botanical Gardens. So Clemson Mappers has been very fortunate to receive grants to start a program called Drones for Good this is a student drone training and rental service on campus for Clemson University students for free. We've received another grant this past semester for updated drone software. And as you can see, this is our fleet of drones from our original Drones for Good grant, and the Husky UGV is our newest addition. So just as a reference for how this club has impacted us as students, our members have gone on to earn prestigious jobs and internships with ESRI, USAID, Youth Mappers, and more as a result of their time in Clemson Mappers. On behalf of all of the current members and alumni members of Clemson Mappers, 
We're very thankful for the opportunities that the mapping community has given us and the support Youth Mappers has given us. Here's also a QR code to the Clemson Mappers website if you're interested in learning more about our chapter, or you can follow us on our social media to keep up with our events. And thank you. Have a great weekend, everyone.